University protesters across the country have made similar demands that their schools divest from Israel, but in most states, doing that would break the law. 13 Fact Finder Brooke Wagner is here. And Brooke, you learned that in Arizona, it's essentially illegal for public entities to boycott Israel. Yes, Arizona has three laws back to 2016, so they're not new. They bar state institutions from investing in companies that boycott Israel, and Arizona is not alone. 38 states have passed what are known as anti-BDS, or anti-boycott, divestment, and sanction laws. Advocacy group Palestine Legal posted this map of the states that have adopted laws over the last decade. It calls laws like this unconstitutional, an attack on advocacy for human rights. Anti-BDS supporters say the laws are meant to discourage anti-Semitism. The Arizona law says a public entity may not adopt a procurement, investment, or other policy that has the effect of inducing or requiring a person or company to boycott Israel. That amendment was sponsored by Arizona Treasurer Kimberly Yee back when she was a state senator. This is Yee in Tucson earlier this year. You may remember we reported Yee divested Arizona from Ben & Jerry's ice cream company after it refused to sell in Israeli territories. In response to my questions, Treasurer Yee sent me this statement saying, quote, I sponsored the amendment that prohibits public entities such as state universities from adopting policies that boycott boycott Israel. And now, eight years later, we see this law being put into action with the campus protests. Israel and Arizona have been longtime allies and trade partners, so we adopted these laws to protect their economic viability and sovereignty." End quote. Federal court upheld the law in 2020. I could not find any active bills on this topic, but one that would prohibit state universities from recognizing student organizations that support what are deemed foreign terrorist organizations passed the state house and is now in Senate committee. UA has not yet responded to protester demands. Brooke Wagner, 13 Fact Finders.